Wow, I really didn't expect that. Now we gotta revise the 360 camera ranking for video. All right, in this video, we're gonna look at GoPro's new 2.0 firmware update. As this afternoon, GoPro announced a major firmware update for the GoPro Fusion that increases the resolution to 5.6K. And that totally caught everyone by surprise because I, I thought that they were done with updates for the Fusion, especially after the layoff of the color staff. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a big update and I want to find out if it's real or, if, you know, is there a substantial increase in actual quality? You know, there are a few other things that they also said were improved, such as the uh, stabilization and the, plus the fo uh, Fusion Studio uh, software was also improved, uh, tweaked a bit and then they up finally updated the GoPro VR Reframe plugin to work with Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. So anyway, I'm gonna test all of that right now. I'm gonna test it, uh, first of all, with a Fusion. This one hasn't been updated yet. I'm gonna take shots before and after the firmware update. I'm gonna compare them. I'm also gonna compare them with the usual suspects, the Insta 360 1X, the Rhino, which was also upgraded to 5.8K from 4K, and the Views XR with 5.7K resolution. By the way, if you're new to this channel, it's all about 360 and 3TV. So if you want to learn more about this exciting new way to shoot videos, then go ahead and hit subscribe. So to update the firmware, there's a link in the description. Um, it's a zip file, then you, you um, extract it. There's going to be a folder there called update. You're going to copy it to the root directory of this micro SD card labeled SD1. Just turn it on. So it's going to, it's supposed to detect it automatically. And by the way, make sure that you're, you have enough charge in your fusion. So it looks like it's updating. <laughs> right here it is. Um, I can see it's 5.6K 24 FPS. Yes, you can still get 5.2K 30. All right, now let's analyze the videos. First, the GoPro Fusion. Now, one of these videos is with the firmware 2.0 and the other is with the older firmware. But I'm not gonna tell you which one. Now, from this view, I can't tell the difference. So let's zoom in. Now, even when we're zoomed in 400%, I still can't tell the difference. Actually, the one on the left is the firmware 2.0. I don't see any difference in detail. I don't see any difference in dynamic range. The compression seems about the same. So it seems that the GoPro Fusion's increased resolution doesn't have any real world benefits. And at the same time, it has a lower frame rate. So for most people, you're probably better off just keeping the 5.2K. Now let's compare the Fusion with the Insta360 ONE X. Without zooming in, we can see that the exposure looks pretty similar. Now one thing I noticed is that the Fusion's shadows look a little bluish or purple, whereas with the Insta360 ONE X, they look more neutral. Now let's zoom in. When zoomed in, it looks like they have very similar amounts of detail. But one important difference between them is the dynamic range. The Fusion's countertop looks blown out. Whereas with the Insta360 ONE X, the countertop is not blown out. Now this is really surprising because when I did the comparison between the Fusion and the ONE X and I compared them in 40 different ways, I found that the Fusion had more dynamic range than the Insta360 ONE X. What's different this time? Well, this time I used this no stitch workflow of the Insta360 ONE X. With this no stitch workflow, you can take unstitched videos from the Insta360 ONE X and import them directly into Premiere. Not only is this faster and easier, but in addition, there's less compression because every time you stitch the video, naturally the video has to be compressed. So by skipping that compression, we preserve the video quality. And that's why the Insta360 ONE X has better dynamic range than before. Just to show you, here's what the Insta360 looks like if you stitch it before importing it into Premiere. The, in addition, the Insta360 ONE X has an HDR video mode. Now with HDR video, the Insta360 ONE X has far greater dynamic range than the GoPro Fusion without sacrificing any detail. Now let's compare the Fusion with the Rilo. Recall that the Rilo got an upgrade from 4K to 5.8K. In addition, the Rilo can now export in ProRes. Both the Fusion and the Rilo blew the countertops. But the Rilo has better detail in the backsplash. 
Does that mean that the Rhylo has better dynamic range? Not necessarily. Let's take a look at the shadows. If you look at the wallpaper, the Fusion's wallpaper looks more well-defined than the Rhylo. So this means that the Fusion's shadow detail is actually better than the Rhylo. But why does the Rhylo's backsplash look more detailed than the Fusion? And that's because the Rhylo chose a slightly darker exposure than the Fusion. You can see that in the drawers below the countertop. So in summary, the Fusion and Rhylo have almost the same amount of detail, but the Fusion has significantly more shadow range than the Rhylo. Now let's compare the Fusion with the Views XR. Just as with the Insta360-1X, the Views XR's shadow colors look more accurate than the Fusion. When we zoom in, we see that both the Fusion and the Views XR blew the countertops. In terms of shadow detail, they're approximately similar. Looks like the Views XR used more noise reduction but lost some detail, while the Fusion has more detail but also more noise. Overall, however, the Fusion has a little more detail than the Views XR. Wow, I really didn't expect that. I thought that with the firmware update for the GoPro Fusion, the GoPro Fusion would have much better image quality than ever before and it would have a way bigger lead than all the other cameras. But that's not what happened. Instead, we saw that the firmware update didn't have any real-world benefits. If anything, it was just a disadvantage because of the lower frame rate. And meanwhile, we found out that the Insta360 1X now has better image quality than the GoPro Fusion thanks to its no-stitch workflow, which is not only easier, but also increases its image quality. So now we gotta revise the 360 camera ranking for video. Uh, number one would be the Insta360 ONE X. It has about the same amount of detail as the GoPro Fusion, but actually now has better dynamic range if you use the Adobe Premiere no-stitch workflow. Number two would be the GoPro Fusion. It still has great image quality, but it's just not better than before. Number three would be the Rylo. We saw that it has about the same amount of details to go Profusion, but just less shadow range. And number four would be the Views XR, which has very nice image quality, but less detail because they opted to have greater noise reduction. If you found this comparison helpful, then hit the subscribe button and check out these comparisons as well. Thanks and I'll see you in 360.